Hello guys, today we're going to take a look at how you can upgrade your firmware on the American DJ Wi-Fi Any1. Upgrading to the new firmware can unlock new features and also give your controller extra stability. So as I'm shooting this video, it's August 2015 and the latest software version is version 1.2. Now the current newer firmware unlocks more features when it comes to creating custom fixture profiles with the new fixture builder software. To check the current firmware version of your Any1, it's very simple. Simply hold down the setup button to enter the menu. Scroll down until you get to the very bottom option, number 16, which is your firmware version. Press enter and you can see here our current firmware is version 1.0. Now if your firmware version says 0.1, you have a slightly different upgrade process and I'll explain that in just a minute. So to upgrade your firmware, first you need to download the new firmware file, which is an SUP file, and you can download it from a Dropbox link, which I'll include in the description down below. You can then copy that file over onto the USB stick that came with your Any1. Make sure you put the file inside the Any1 folder. Then go ahead and take that USB stick and plug it in to your Any1. Before you go ahead and upgrade the firmware, I recommend you save all your show data on the Any1 onto the USB stick. To do that, Simply go into the menu, scroll down to option 8, save data to USB, press enter, and then you've got the option to select the file, so we're going to save file number 4, and now we're saving all the data from the Any1 onto the USB stick, which can then be reloaded onto the console later if anything goes wrong. It's always good to make a backup of your show data. So to upgrade the firmware, first thing you need to do is power off the controller with the switch on the back. So to go ahead and do the upgrade, we need to hold down the setup button, along with memory buttons 3 and 4, and then repower on the controller. You'll see here it now says load file. And it says update start, please wait. And update complete, please reboot. So power off the controller, power it back on, and there we go. We go into our setup menu now. We are running firmware version 1.2. So when you're trying to update the firmware, you may encounter this error. So what you need to do is make sure that the only SUP file on that USB stick is the firmware version you want to upgrade to. Make sure you put the file inside the Any1 folder. Now if you're someone who purchased an Any1 early on, you may find your firmware version is 0.1. Now if it does this, you need to do a slightly different update process, which requires downloading two separate files. First of all, you need to download a clear file. I'll include links to the clear file in the description below. Download the clear file, put it onto your USB stick, and repeat the process again with the firmware update. Then replace that file with the 1.2 firmware, and then do the update again, and your controller should then work with the 1.2 firmware version. Just make sure you're careful about which file is which, they do both have the same names. The smaller file is the clear file, and the slightly larger file is the 1.2 firmware. Now if you do try and upgrade to firmware version 1.2, when you reboot the Any1 after upgrading the firmware, you may find your screen goes completely blank. Don't worry. What I recommend you do is try and reinstall firmware version 1.2, do exactly the same process again, and if you still get a blank screen, then do the same process you do if you're running firmware version 0.1. So download that clear file, load the clear file onto the Any1, and then download firmware version 1.2, and load that back onto the Any1. I had this problem the first time I tried to upgrade the firmware on the Any1, but going through the process with the two separate files fixed the problem for me. So I'm filming this video in August 2015, so depending on when you're watching this video, 1.2 may not be the latest version. The process of updating the firmware should be exactly the same, just with a different firmware file. However, if you're unsure, check out the Wi-Fi Anyone Facebook group. There are loads of Anyone users on there, along with some of the guys from American DJ, who will be able to help you out with any questions you have. So for links to download the 1.2 version firmware and the clear file, check out the description below, and I'll also throw a link to the Anyone Facebook group. But that's it for this video, and as always, thanks for watching.